Hi guys, Luke here from Luke Tech Reviews and today I've got an unboxing and initial thoughts on the S23 Ultra. The phone's just been delivered today, so I'm excited to get this unboxed. I've not had a Galaxy phone since the S21 Ultra and for the past few months I've been using the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Pixel 7 Pro on and off. So I'm really excited to see what Samsung has to offer with this year's flagship. Also, I went over the design, specs and I've got some more videos coming up with the S20 Ultra in terms of cases. So I've got some cases coming up from Spigen and Caseology. So make sure you don't miss out on that. So let's get this single box and see what we've got. Okay, so as you can see, I went for the green option for the S23 Ultra. The reason I went for green is because I usually stick to either black or white colored phones. So I really fancied a change and trying something different. Seeing it in person, it's really nice. I like it, I'm really glad I went for the green. It's kind of a subtle sort of camo green. Um, yeah, really, really like it in person. I went for the 512 gig variant of the phone and the reason I went for that one is that there was an offer on currently, so this version is the same as a 256 gig version, so it seemed like a no-brainer. The 512 gig variant actually costs £1,399 in the UK and $1,379 in the US. But I actually managed to get the phone for £1,099 from Curry's, which is an electrical retailer here in the UK. They're currently running an offer where if you sign up to their perks offers, uh, which is a mailing list, then they send you out a code, you add it to the order and you get £150 off. Pretty good. So the front and the back are both covered in Gorilla Glass 2, which should be pretty tough in terms of drop protection, but I will not be testing that, and I don't recommend you do either. So looking at the cameras, we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, which is the top one here. We have a 10 times optical zoom lens, which is the bottom one here. We then have a three times telephoto lens which is this one on the right and then we've got the all new huge 200 megapixel lens right here in the middle which is the main lens that you do your shooting with. Samsung's made some pretty big claims about the night photography on this phone as well as general pictures and large video improvements apparently. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because I will be testing this against my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Moving on to the feel of the phone so it actually feels nice and soft on the back phone actually feels lighter than my iPhone 14 Pro Max despite being 6.8 inches which is quite a bit taller than the 14 Pro Max. This phone feels a lot more comfortable to hold because it's a bit slimmer in terms of width than the 14 Pro Max and the S23 Ultra has slightly curved edges so it does make it a bit more comfortable to hold in the hand. The display comes with a 120Hz refresh rate as standard and is rated at going up to 1750 nits of peak brightness which is more than enough for anyone to be able to see outdoors as you can see by the screen it's pretty bright so looking at the front facing camera this year we've actually seen a decrease in terms of megapixels uh, and this year comes with a 12 megapixel lens whereas last year's s22 ultra had a 40 megapixel lens but it actually down binned pictures to 10 megapixels so I don't think you're missing out on much in terms of quality there's obviously a reason that Samsung chose to do this um, and one of the big ones obviously being that software optimization and computational photography is more important than specs most of the time now and the pictures that are being produced by the likes of Google Apple and Samsung from computational photography uh, is outweighing the need for better hardware as I turn around to the bottom of the phone, you can see the speaker grill is placed there. You've got your USB-C port and that takes me around nicely to the S Pen. Looking at the S Pen at the top, it's the same colour as the phone, just at the tip, which is a nice touch. Uh, flipping it around, the rest of it is black. So I'll pop that back in. Turn to the sides, so we've got your standard power button, 
and your volume rockers. I always like on Android phones that the power and the volume buttons are on the same side as I just find it easier to have all the options there rather than having to switch hands. Hi guys, Luke here. I'm filming this on the S23 Ultra. There was one spec I missed out during this unboxing that I really think is key uh, that you should know about and you probably know already. But for the users in the UK like myself, we've traditionally had the Exynos chip on the Samsung Galaxy series of phones for as long as I can remember. And it's become worse and worse as a chip and it's always been a bit inferior to the Snapdragon which is what the US um, tend to have. This year, Samsung have gone Snapdragon Global with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is a fantastic move for all the users across the world. And everyone now pays their money for the same experience. So Samsung, well done for finally making that decision. So I think that's gonna do for the unboxing today, guys. But like I said earlier, I do have some case videos coming up for you guys. And I've also got a screen protector coming up. So if I just pop these on the table, you'll see I actually have quite a large selection of things to unpack. So make sure you tune in. One I'm looking forward to, this green caseology one, which will go with the uh, color of the phone. Also, I'll be pitching this phone against my iPhone 14 Pro Max for a camera comparison. So please hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out. But well, that's it for today guys and thank you for tuning in. I'm Luke from Luke Tech Reviews. See you next time.